Okay, this is just a very short video of if you're starting The Witcher 3 on Death March. Now, um, my first recommendation is that when you first start the game and you're in Kaer Morhen, uh, you're given the option of training with Vesemir at the start. I'd recommend that you definitely train with Vesemir. And what you should be doing is just training to counter-attack humans. It's by far the easiest counter-attacking that you can do in the game and it's the most effective when it comes to enemies with shields because a lot of the time you have to dive behind them. You have to find some way around that shield or making them drop that shield and Quen, when you're in a fight, is possibly... It's, it's the one spell that I'd spam the most, I'll put it that way. So, um, rather than diving behind an enemy and you're having arrows shot at you from all directions and there's more enemies closing in and there's this, this one bastard with a shield standing in front of you, the best thing you can possibly do is counter-attack because you'll kick him, he'll stumble back, you can hit him with a power attack, do it out a couple of times and he's dead. So, yeah, when you're at Kaer and definitely train with Vesemir until you have it down to a T, counter-attacking enemies. Just learning their footwork and how quickly they're going to hit you with that swing. Now, my second recommendation is that when you start the game, you'll end up in White Orchard. Now, I can tell you that there's at least five or six places of power here. So that's five or six different um, character attributes that you can pick. Now, I can't stress enough that the single most important ones from the very start of the game on Death March is that you pick... Rage management. So if your current stamina level is too low, signs can be cast using adrenaline points. That's the single most important and should be the first, or at least one of the first two um, character attributes that you pick. Then move on to um, adrenaline burst, which will increase the generation by 5%. And just using signs will generate those uh, adrenaline points. So... Um, yeah, uh, just pick those two first, and then Survival Instinct if you want to put up your vitality, and so on and so on. Um, I can promise you as well that Death March, it seems absolutely impossible at the very start when you're playing, but I can promise that after you get to level 10 and pass level 10, you might be saying to yourself, fuck, the difficulty is actually after going down so low, what's going on? And you'll be delighted, and then eventually you'll probably be annoyed that the game has actually gotten that much easier on Death March. But you'll still notice that if you make a really stupid move, like you choose to leave down your guard and kind of piss about with enemies, you still might be killed in three or four hits of a drowner, maybe, or if three drowners all hit you at once, you probably will still die, but... Um, you know, it does get generally a lot easier once you pass level 10. So, um, yeah, if you're having trouble, just stick at it. Make sure that you pick those attributes. Make sure that you try and get to all the question marks in Wide Orchard. And train with Vesemir from the very beginning of the game. And uh, those are the starting tips for playing The Witcher 3 on that March. And I hope it helped. See you again.